Hi everyone, our master bedroom closet makeover is finally done. My husband and I installed a new closet system in our master bedroom and it couldn't be more perfect for us. It's by Closet Made and it's called Impressions. The process was so simple. I went to the Home Depot, I gave them my closet measurements, they put the measurements in the computer and it will tell you all the materials you'll need for your closet. In a few days, I had not one, but two pallets of closets at my door and the shipping was absolutely free. Doing it ourselves saved us over $2,400. This system cost us $1,300 and it was worth every penny. Let me show you the before. It's a shocker, right? Our closet hasn't always looked like this. It grew out of control. I mean, way out of control. As you can see, we had that awful wire rack. At the top, I had the hubster install some shelving that broke, I mean, literally in half. It was just a mess. We don't have dressers in our bedroom. It's more convenient for us because our closet is right in our bathroom. So this was a temporary solution to hold our underwear, socks, and things of that nature until we had the time to install a functional and practical closet system. It was a job and a half to remove everything out of the closet, take down that wire shelving, patch the holes to prepare it for a fresh new coat of paint. For some subtle drama, I painted the ceiling a deep cocoa color in an eggshell finish. It offers just that hint of reflective light. Speaking of lighting, some of you may have seen, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise, I shared the chandelier that I got from Lowe's on clearance for $81. One thing about hanging a chandelier in a small space is that it can give you that kaleidoscope effect, which isn't good, especially if you have vertigo. So please keep that in mind if you plan on putting a chandelier in a small space. This is called the Closet Made Impressions that we purchased from the Home Depot. We chose the dark cherry finish because it matches our existing bathroom cabinets. It's loaded with tons of drawer space and storage for shoes, purses, and accessories. My husband and I have our own individual hutch. I'm so excited. So let me remind you of the before. And here's the after. It's like night and day. The fruits of our labor has paid off. Before we place everything back in, we did two big purges. Clothes we didn't wear went to a consignment shop where you get money back when they sell. I cannot believe the difference some organization makes. Everything has a place and everything is in its place. Let me give you a tour. Obviously, this is my side. If you have seen my previous video of my shopping haul, these items may look familiar to you, and I'll have that link down below. On my side of the hutch are some decorative gift boxes I got on clearance at Target. The blue office accessory is housing my iPhone, and it's synced into my Bose speaker. I like to listen to Pandora while getting dressed. I like to listen to it a lot. The second shelf has my perfumes and some of my current favorite necklaces. I like to keep just one out. I like to keep my jewelry covered in this dust free mint green box I got from home goods and the mirrored box is where I like to keep my loose change using items I already had I took this mirrored tray that I'm using to keep my sunglasses and my reading glasses in one place and I will have to do another video on drawer organization because this video would just be way too long if I showed you guys right now my favorite thing about this closet system is having double hung space. It expands your closet hanging space. I have my sweaters and blazers on the top and I have jackets and skirts on the bottom. I'm really getting used to having less things. My husband and I both have double hung corner space. This allows us to have full access to our clothing without being shoved in the corner. I know with the wire shelving, we just had things kind of lost in the corner and I just never pulled them out because it was just a hassle. But if you prefer having clothing folded over hanging your items, you can also add extra shelving. Another favorite of mine is having my purses and my shoes displayed on this adjustable shelving. This would encourage me to use and wear my things a lot more often. This watermelon color purse was a $10 find from Ross stores. I only use it for toiletries when traveling. The traditional bags just don't do it for me, so I prefer to use this. 
and on each shelf you can fit two pairs of shoes. Here's my dust protector for my MK bag. I just love MK. This cubby is also good for flip flops and slippers. This gray box is from Ikea. It's used for shoes and I'm using it to keep my cashmere sweaters protected. And using a shoe box is a lot cheaper than using a sweater box. I will have more info on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com where you can have and see everything where I got things from. The lower shelves I keep my flats and sandals way on the bottom. Here's a quick tip for your good sweaters. It's best to fold your sweaters than hanging them. This will avoid them from having those shoulder bumps that are almost impossible to get rid of. Oh, how I needed some feminine touches with the dark wood. Having a fold for a rug is luxurious, soft, cozy, and most of all, cheap. I paid $12 for it on clearance at TJ Maxx. The fold for a stool is from Ross and it was $25. It's the perfect marriage. So here's my husband's side of the closet and I'm going to tell you right now that I was cheated. He has more space because believe it or not, he has more things than me. On his side in this corner is what you call a full hang which allows for dresses. He gets to have it just for now. A ballet rod is tucked away on the side. It's used for temporary placement for what you're gonna be wearing for the day. It's easy to install and it's retractable. We also installed a retractable belt rack. It's a wonderful space saver, oh I love it, and it will keep your belts organized and out of the way. If your husband or partner have a ton of neckties, use a tie and belt rack to keep them organized. This one is also made by Closet Made. It's retractable, it's easy to install on a wall or on a door, and it keeps them neat, and it's easier to find when you need one. My husband has been a mason for over 20 years. So on his hutch, he has his beds, his crowns are displayed and easy to get to when he has a meeting. His favorite cologne is Burberry. The wooden dispenser has his favorite hand lotion inside. His dresser has a valet for his wallets and I also added a small tray for his jewelry. Reading and sunglasses are also placed inside. I've always organized and arranged our clothing by color, from light to dark. It makes it so simple to find your clothing. It's not on my husband's priority list to put them back that way, but it's okay. His dresses and shirts are on the top and his short sleeves and polo shirts are on the bottom. His dress shoes are on the upper shelving along with his shoe shine kit. I always keep brand new extra dress shirts for him and put them in the same box I showed you earlier. His casual shoes and his workout sneakers are also on the lower shelves. Suits, suits, and more suits. They're also arranged by color and by fabric wool, cotton, linen, etc. And I did the same with his pants, from dark to light and dressy to casual. Baseball caps, hats, fedoras, you name it, my husband has it. These handsome boxes are from Ikea. They're gray, sturdy, and very masculine. And they also come in off-white. I will have the name and the dimensions of these boxes on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com if you like more info on them. We gave some of the hats a good purge. I yet still have to label these boxes. The larger box is for his baseball caps. The two small boxes has his ankle braces, knee braces, his workout gloves, skull caps. My husband, he's a retired Marine, so his bones took a beating over the years. The larger box on the bottom is for his fedoras. I placed a few of his hats on some decorative accent pieces I already had. Hey, it beats buying a hat stand. You can also use a heavy candlestick to display your hats as well. I cannot tell you how much this has changed our lives. We have a different approach of how we utilize our time when getting dressed. 
An organized closet helps us to kickstart our day on the right foot. It feels good. It looks good. This is a system I know we will stick to. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my closet. And I would love if you can share this video and like it. And I want to thank you guys for watching.